Well, I think we're already seeing certain areas inside companies that are already um, paying dividends back as different organizations implement generative AI. So first, I think on the efficiency side, we're seeing organizations, you know, see efficiencies from AI in coding, customer service. We're seeing it in HR processes, you know, scanning resumes, um, job descriptions. Uh, certainly, co-pilots are making meetings more efficient. And uh, legal um, is also from document, uh, you know, uh, preparation and review. But I'm, when you look at industries, I think we're going to see it in various ways play out. Uh, first, we're, everybody talks about healthcare, but I think in particular healthcare from an R&D perspective. Um, we go back to the pandemic and uh, the vaccines were AI generated. And I think you're going to see more of that in pharmaceuticals and in cures for diseases where we have pockets of data that we haven't been able to really understand. I think generative AI will be able to do the research on that data and come up with different kinds of cures and treatments. And so I have high hopes for AI in healthcare. And then my, my field, um, I think financial services, we're already seeing generative AI improve fraud, risk management, security, and compliance with a wide range of financial services laws like anti-money laundering, for example. Um, the other place that I would really look, though, is any, any industry that has like a really broad, deep, or complex product catalog. I think you're going to see AI make it easier for sales teams to know more about their products and solutions and apply that differently to how they serve their customers. So if you think about an insurance salesperson or someone who's selling complicated financial products, they're going to be able to find a better product for you versus me, um, versus somebody who may be just starting a family or somebody who's getting close to retirement. So all of that's going to be, I think, really exciting and really helpful. And then I think about my students who I teach at um, Pratt, and I think of the creative industries. And I think about um, not that they're going to be replaced, but how much easier the creative processes are going to be for art and design and how AI is going to enhance their toolkit, enabling them to put different concepts together. I watched an architect um, earlier this year show his ability to kind of create different kinds of designs. And so I think generative um, AI is going to really change how we create. Um, but I think net net, you're still going to need that creative genius to come up with the right designs. So I think all of that are going to be different kinds of areas where we're going to see value play out in the net new, um, as well as we'll see uh, generative AI extend our products and solutions so that they're much more personalized. We keep hearing about those personalized bots that we'll all have. I think we will see those, but I think they're a little bit of a ways away to figure out how we want to incorporate them into our lives. So lots to come. But I think it's going to be an exciting time over the next several years as we watch different industries adopt at different paces.